Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and just a very quick update on the embryo fruit on my uh, Atamoya. This is uh, a grafted plant, this Gefna. If you recall the earlier video this summer, half of the plant died from the graft for whatever reason in spring. So one side of the plant's completely dead, but the other side is still looking quite healthy. Um, how I'm going to get it to branch out that way remains to be seen. Perhaps if this branch that'll shoot here was to come out, then uh, maybe I could put some wire around it like a bonsai and twist it out that way, or at least upright, and then once it's upright, it might branch out to the left. But it's set, so it's two fruit attaches, there's that one there, and there's another one, you might just be able to see through there, I did hand pollinate them. I mean, it's flowering continuously. It's got about six or seven, look, there's flowers on it all over the place now, but I haven't bothered to hand pollinate any others because it's only a very small young plant and it might hold one small fruit. But this has now been developing for, I don't know, it must be three months now, and it's only not even an inch across. So they are extremely slow growing. And bearing in mind we're now heading out of summer into uh, winter, they're incredibly slow growing here. The, this fruit is probably going to take nine months to um, develop to an edible size on this plant, which means all through the winter months. So the odds of it actually reaching uh, maturity are uh, probably very, very low which is a disadvantage of trying to grow tropical fruits over here. But just the fact that, you know, you can get one or two to set is quite unusual and quite exciting. So I am pleased about that. And obviously I will do my best to um, maintain it over winter and give it a little bit of food. I'll keep it in front of the window so it gets the maximum, uh, the maximum light. Because obviously if it defoliates, it's likely to lose the fruits and they won't develop any other problem I get is the fruits get mealybugs on them so I need to spray them in the winter months at the first sign of mealybugs because the mealybugs will of course uh, suck sap from the fruits just as they would sap, suck sap from the leaves and you obviously end up with a uh, you end up with a, a fruit that's uh, not going to develop at all but um, seems to be well set as does the other one and it's nice to it's interesting to see the development on them if they don't make it to an edible size this is great fun to see just to show that you can at least get them to set fruit in this country but uh, where we go from here will obviously remain to be seen but I thought that would interest some people as I said that's a grafted Atamoya varieties Geffner originally came from Canarius about five years ago and you can see from how small the plants is just how hard it is to get them to grow at a decent rate in our country but at least it is possible to get fruit set even if it doesn't progress any further so thanks for watching that short video hope you found it interesting please remember to uh, give me a thumbs up and share the video if you think anybody would be interested what a beautiful looking embryo fruit that is Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell if you like updates on new videos as they come out, including, of course, updates on whether or not these two embryo fruits hold on. I'll catch up with you all in the next video. Brett out for now.